Hey everybody, and welcome to Worth the Buck, where I'm going to take some of the most popular Dollar Tree items, test them out for you guys, and let you know if they're really worth that dollar. If you want to see what I'm reviewing today, just stay tuned. All right, you guys, today we're gonna to be testing out this little selfie stick you guys saw me haul recently. This is the one that does have the little clip for the little button on the handle, which is a great kind of selfie stick to get if you can find one because that enables you to take your pictures with your arms at a distance, if that makes sense to you. So let's cut this tag off and go ahead and examine this little product. We're gonna see if this one works and if it's really worth a dollar because if you've been shopping for these kind, then you know that they're usually around $9.99 for a good one. So if we can pick these up for a dollar, that's gonna be an exceptional deal. All right, first of all, the little tag claims that this is gonna extend up to 22 inches. That's a good little distance away when you also include in the distance of your arm so let's just measure that and see if that is true. Before we extend it, this is all the way in. This little device measures, let's see, looks like about 11 and 3 quarter inches. So let's pull this puppy out and see if it'll go 22 inches. Putting that all the way at the zero there, you can see right there. Let's slide these together. And yep, it actually goes to 22 and a quarter inches, so it's just a little bit beyond the 22 inches. By the time you take in consideration where the camera is on your phone, it probably is right at 22 inches. So now, let's see if we can attach the phone. First of all, though, I wanted to show you. Check this out. This is the first selfie stick that I've seen anyway that actually is flexible right there like that. Like mine that I typically use has a little knob that I have to turn, which is actually stripped out. Those strip out very easily. But this one has a nice flexible neck to it, which love that feature. So let's hope this thing works. All right, the first phone that we're gonna try to slip on here is my phone, which is the iPhone 7 Plus. So that's gonna give you an idea of how big my phone is. This does have a pretty wide reach, but not quite sure if that's gonna be wide enough. And there is a nice, little rubber face to it right here. So that should not scratch the frame of your phone, at least right there. Now this side is just plastic. There's rubber also on this side as well. So that's good. That's what helps you pull it, okay? <laughs> so let's try to see if this will stretch wide enough. And it does. It makes me just a little nervous though. I have to be honest because that doesn't sit in there quite as tight as the one that I already have that I paid $10 for. That kind of, I mean, it doesn't seem to be going anywhere with me shaking it. it looks it looks like it's pretty secure in there. The top of this head though does, does twist and it's got a screw top. So I'm a little curious as to why I guess the weight of this phone, these phones are very heavy. So that's kind of causing it to untwist, but see how easy that popped off? That would make me a little bit nervous unless you've got a really good case on yours. I do have a case on mine. It's not super thick though. If you had much of a thicker case, that might not fit. Okay, well, so far so good. Now, let's test the little plug. We're gonna see if it will actually work. You guys know that for the iPhone 7 Pluses, you have to have the little adapter. So let's get that all plugged in. So let's go ahead and get the phone on, get to our camera. Let's turn it to the front facing camera. And I'm gonna have my husband hold his hand above that. You guys kind of see on there, hopefully you can, because we're gonna try to snap the shot using this little thing on the handle to see if it'll take that picture. And it did. All right, so now let me extend it out and we'll try it that again with it all the way extended. So can you hold your hand back over that? And we're gonna pretend like I am taking this from a distance. There it goes again. All right, so that is working. All right, so now let me try to hold this up by the actual stick. 
that feels pretty sturdy. Now you can tell this is all the way extended and my phone is very, very heavy. Seems to be pretty secure and the button is working. Now one thing that I did notice about this button is that it's a wee bit temperamental and what I mean by that is just like with every selfie stick that I've ever used that has the button on the handle, you do have to hit it just right. And the reason for that is because you have a little metal button that goes on at the post, but then you've got this thick rubber casing. So when you're hitting this button, you kind of sometimes have to move your thumb around just a little, only because you're trying to get to that little metal button through the thick rubber coating. So it's not that there's a glitch. It's not that it just isn't connecting. It's just that with that thick rubber protective coating over it, sometimes you have to wiggle to find that button. Now, I'm gonna try this with one more phone just so that we can see if it's consistent. All right, so now we're gonna try this with my husband's phone. It's pretty comparable to the size of my iPhone, but what is yours? An LG V20. An LG V20. So if any of you have that kind of phone, you'll know if this is going to work. Well, that's slipping off of yours. It might be just because the case is different, maybe. This, this is the one thing I'm just not real settled on, is how thin this side is there. That, that makes me nervous. But Now, his phone is not near as heavy as mine, so that actually feels a lot more sturdy on his phone. I do like the feel of it on his a lot better. Okay, let's get this plugged in. All right, and let's get him to turn the camera on. Okay, now he's got his hand back over the top of that. Hopefully, you guys can see that. Let's try the button. Yep. All right, now let's extend it and see. Yep, definitely worked. And I'll insert all those pictures in to show you that it definitely took those pictures just so that you can know for sure it really is taking the pictures. But there you've seen it. It's with two different phones that fit the, tell me again, LG V20. The LG V20 and the iPhone 7 Plus, so then naturally it should hold a phone even smaller than that. It does feel like it has a pretty good grip. My phone is very heavy. The only thing that I would be a little concerned about is that this bracket here is not very wide, and I know this is what actually holds the phone, but that could be a little wider and I think I'd feel a little safer with it. But other than that, for just one dollar, I definitely think you guys should pick it up. I think it is worth the buck, even if it only lasted you one trip or one day outing where you could get some good selfie shots of you and a group of friends or family, then it would definitely be worth it for just that one dollar. So if you see these at a Dollar Tree near you, I say go ahead and pick it up. I want to thank you all so very much for watching. I'll see you soon in the next video.